G'day viewers, well, when I built this kit, I made one very common mistake. When reading these ICs, especially this one has a, because this one has the markings on it, the markings are slightly faint. I assumed that this was the, um, the synthesizer, which it's not. That's the crystal oscillator chip, which is, belongs here. E3. This is the um, digital modulus and synthesizer which belongs here. E1. So I've got the digital modulus and synthesizer which is supposed to be here synthesizing and the, does the actual frequency that I'm tuning the um, receiver, the transmitter to. And this is trying to um, convert and get a crystal oscillator to drive that crystal. CMOS crystal. CMOS crystal which is that and driver for that. Which drives these, I think. So yeah, that's why I was spending hours and hours and hours trying to tune this, and it wasn't getting anywhere. So I should have swapped that and that around, and that should be okay. Because of the brand of this IC, I looked at the top HCF number. I couldn't really see it at the time, but now I've got a good um, sun uh, shining on it at the right angle. I can read it clearly now. HCF four zero six zero, which belongs here. So I've got to swap those two around, and there, yeah, it should work fine then. And then I could start to set it up properly, and we can give it a good range test and see how far we get with this. Alright viewers, U1 and U3 are in their correct spots. The crystal oscillator, CMOS crystal oscillator and driver is where it should be. And the, um, the digital modulus and synthesizer is where it should be. This is only getting half the pins used on it. And I was wondering why it kept drifting frequency and then stupid behaviour like something wasn't um, switching or modulating properly. And I thought, hang on, what the hell is going on here? Studying in the book, having a close look at these um, ICs under bright light, especially this one because half the writing is um, faint on it. And then that one there was in the wrong spot. So now that it's in, the, in its correct spot, it ought to work. So let's put this thing back together and give it a test. Alright viewers, radio is tuned to 1287, the blank station, there's nothing broadcasting there around here. To tune this uh, thing here in, switch A, one's on, and the rest are off, and that's right. Switch B, one's off, and the other three are on, and that's right. Now the antenna thing, or well, ATU there, that little um, tricky bit. So that 1287, so we're between, so it should be here. On, off, on, on. If you can't get very good performance, try the next one. Say 1140, put it in that range. On, on, off, off. So let's try the um, turning it on. Not a sound on the speaker, so that's working well. LED is barely on, so that's working correctly. There we are. Now that is on, 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 off. So what range is that on? Uh, on, 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 off. That's on the shortwave mode. I want to go in this range. I want to restrict it so it doesn't clog up the whole AM band and block other stations out. So I want on, off, on, on. So turn that on. Turn this on off. And I can tune this. Tune the antenna tuning, uh, tuning unit here, the capacitor. If I turn the audio off, Turn this up, I should be able to hear noise. That's working a hell of a lot better than what it did before. Yeah. I have to try a radio at distance, but that should be okay, that capacitor setting. So if I put that back together. There you go. One simple mistake caused this thing to be an absolute nightmare. But, we've learnt something. Always read your integrated circuits carefully. And if the numbers are faint, try on the bright light and check, double, triple check. So yeah, let's put the audio back on and turn the radio down first. Now I did mention, this automatically corrects the frequency, like doesn't over modulate when you turn it up flat out. That only works to a point. 
if you get a stupid flat yet like that, it's still going to overmodulate. That's just the bass electronics band, free stuff from the free um, the public domain music. Now it's working correctly. I'll turn the audio down. Now that has to jet pul gently pulsate the LED. Looking at that. Yeah, it's gently pulsating. Let's get this, take this radio out and outside and see how far we get it to go. Now that is hooked up through my main antenna outside, so just got to reconnect this one. Alright, oh, let's take this radio outside and see how much range we got. Okay, the also need some more antenna trimming to do. The better I trim the antenna and the better I position the antenna, the further range I'll get. That's about, I don't know. 120 metres away from the house. So a bit of fine tuning on the antenna now, I should get a lot more than that. Signal's starting to come in. Hi dog. This house also uses chicken wire and everything from behind that lender, so that wouldn't help with it. That's acting as a screened room anyway, so. But. Working really good now, I'm just gonna turn it for that antenna and see how good I can get it now. So yeah, thanks for watching.